So at Impulse bought this Chinese buggy and my goal is to turn it into something nice. You guys know I did build a buggy in the past and I sold it and I really do miss it. So I want to build a bigger and better one. The plan is to put a twist on it and use a two stroke engine. The guy that sold it to me was pretty chill and I actually decided to visit one of my favorite YouTubers who specializes in things like this. That this thing is, has really good power. Check this out guys. I'm at Redrius place. Uh, it turns out we're actually neighbors. Yeah, right next door. <laughs> yep. Never knew it. So yeah, that's actually the same exact go-kart that I bought, except he modified it. So I think I'm going to do something like that. Yeah, it's a sweet cart. It's a really good starter platform. You can buy them cheap and mm -hmm. modify them easy. They're, they're really nice. The carts are cheap for them too, so you break it. What wheels are those? Uh, golf cart wheels. Yeah, it's a good looking. Car. We never ride it. We got too. Much. This is our empire of dirt. You know, we got junk lane of Half half done projects are what we specialize in. So we got them everywhere. So. Hey, I can relate for sure. All right, Greg. Well, uh, yeah. it was nice meeting you. Yeah, looking forward to seeing yep. what you do with the thing. Yes, sir. All right, guys. So I got the buggy home and I paid five hundred dollars for it, and. It's a piece of crap. And for those of you that don't know, this is a 150cc Chinese buggy. These, these Chinese buggies, they fall apart and you start working on them more than you actually ride them. Um, I did own one before and yeah, it was, it was a nightmare. My goal with this is to turn it into a little Overlander 4x4 buggy, my first ever 4x4 buggy. And I'm not exactly sure what engine I'm gonna shove in this thing, but um, it won't be too big. Uh, because I, I still want my sisters to be able to drive this thing, learn how to drive on it. Um, and then maybe in the future, I could put a bigger engine in here. The guy said it ran great, but it has transmission issues, which I'm betting it's just a broken belt or um, a bad clutch. But I'm not going to have time to get into that this video. I'm just gutting everything and cutting everything off because I'm going to go ahead and put a jumper box to this and see if it does actually run. Let's take a quick break to talk about the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. HelloFresh brings chef-crafted recipes and pre-packaged ingredients straight to your doorstep. They come from the farm to your house in under 7 days, so they're always fresh. And with holidays around the corner, it's definitely a good idea to save you some time. So you can spend more time with your family, you can have more time for shopping, and it definitely saves me time so I don't have to go out and order takeout. These meals are cheaper than groceries and 25% less expensive than takeout. So you're definitely saving money and time with these meals. And they have quick dinner options where you can get these done in less than 20 minutes. And if you have picky eaters at home, they have some great options. They have some burgers, which I'm gonna show you guys here in a little bit. You can easily customize your own meal by swapping out proteins and sides. And there's over 35 weekly recipes to choose from. So I finished the meal in 15 minutes and everything here is from HelloFresh. So I'm really excited to try this burger out. Mmm. Wow. If you want some fast and easy meals, head over to HelloFresh.com and use the code Vasily70 to get 70% off plus free shipping. So that'll be the first link in the description. Use code Vasily70 if you want to help support the channel and help support these builds. But with that being said, guys. I gotta finish these burgers and get back to the video. So first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this ugly roll cage and luckily it is removable so I'll remove it, uh, grind everything flat and build a new stronger and better looking roll cage and also we need to actually tie in the rear of the buggy into the roll cage so we have to make sure it's uh, permanent and then we're gonna have to completely redo the whole rear end of this cart because we're no longer gonna have a swing arm it's all gonna be solid and there's gonna be a differential in the back
Well, that escalated pretty quickly, but next up on the list is we're gonna bend out a roll hoop. It's gonna go up like this and then go like that. So there's the roll hoop mocked up. We're gonna go ahead and trim it up and notch it and then tack weld it in and then we could get started on the connecting bars. So HTP Welders is running a store-wide Black Friday sale until Friday of this week. And if you're interested in copying any welders or welding accessories, definitely check the first link in the description. Now I had these welders for like three years with no hiccups and they're amazing machines. Now they did not pay me to say any of this. I genuinely think these are amazing machines. So the roll cage turned out beautiful and next up I made a little utility rack because I do plan on using this thing around the property. Um, towing stuff and whatnot so this is gonna be a little flatbed but now what we're gonna do is bring up two bars and go up to here um, but first we got to get the measurements from our diffs and a-arms so let's go ahead and figure that out So now we gotta move to the front of the vehicle and make some room for this diff because there's not a whole lot of room. And for anyone wondering, this is a 2001 Yamaha Big Bear 400 diff. So if anyone has any problems with these, please let me know. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna use two of these, one in the front, one in the back. The rotation comes out exactly how I want it. And yeah.
So I decided I'm gonna hold off on the front suspension and finish the rear suspension first. So here I'm just putting the A-arms in the ballpark position of where uh, I think they should be. Alright guys, well we got the rear differential mounted, well actually it's the front differential, I'm just using it in the back, and uh, we're going to have some really good stopping power with these uh, individual disc brakes right here, and then we're also going to be able to adjust the alignment right here with our tie rod, so very nice that I decided to do the front suspension like this, or the I mean the rear suspension. So yeah, we got the diff mounted centered as best as I can, and I did have to do some tweaking on the angles of the a-arms to get the geometry right uh yeah next up we're gonna work on finishing the upper a-arms so we actually got to build those from scratch because the way it's set up right now it isn't it isn't like in line with the frame Guys, I'm super pleased with how this buggy is turning out. So I actually put on my old lawnmower tires on there and it looks very nice, but I think I might go bigger and I'm very pleased with how the roll cage turned out. I mean, it looks really nice, beautiful, way better than that stock roll cage. So if you actually take a look over here at the rear suspension, I did just <laughs> kind of weld everything solid just to see how it looks like. I think it's coming along great and this is only episode one. I want to get this thing on the road soon, or should I say on the dirt. Um, and yeah, I want to keep this thing very small, well as small as I can, like wheelbase wise, because I want it to be easy to transport and it'll be just less chances of it getting stuck. So yeah, as you can see the wheelbase is very short. So guys, I know I have some smart viewers out there, so that's why I'm asking your advice. Do you guys think I picked a good year with the differentials, uh, 2001 Yamaha Big Bear 400? let me know if anyone has any problems with those quads now the one thing i did realize is that these diffs are locked i thought they were open but they are locked which that has me kind of worried it's going to be a dog to steer with locked diffs um, i was hoping to just weld the rear diff and keep the front one open but i guess they're both going to be closed so if anyone knows how i should set up the steering or caster so i can avoid having it steer like a dog, let me know. As far as engine choice, like I said, I'm keeping it small. However, I will say if anyone would like to donate a Raptor 700 engine, um, I might be asking for a little bit too much, but I would slap that thing in there. That's the only four stroke I would consider putting in this thing. And of course I want gears. I do not want a CVT on this thing. I want gears. And there is gonna be reverse on this thing, by the way. If you're enjoying this series, leave a like down below, consider subscribing. And I'll have to catch you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. Peace and God bless.